In this video I want to show you what the ecliptic is. Quite simply it's the path that the Sun appears to take against the background stars as we orbit it throughout the course of the year. And to make that a simple thing to see I've cleaned up the iPad Sky Safari screen and that's what you're looking at right now. There are no stars on here showing at the moment but I have left the constellations in place. I have also left the brighter planets on there and the yellow ring that you can see is the ecliptic itself. That is the route that the Sun appears to take against the backdrop of the constellations throughout the course of the year. So right now you can see that it's coming into Taurus and indeed the signs of the zodiac if you're interested in astrology come from the route that the Sun takes across the heavens. So we've got Taurus then Gemini, Cancer, Leo, Virgo, Libra, Scorpius, Sagittarius, Capricorn, Aquarius, Pisces and finishing in Aries. Now you'll notice that Ophiuchus is missing uh, and that's a historic thing and probably suggests just how much faith they should be given to astrology. But that aside, you can see where the signs of the zodiac come from. It's the, it's the travelling of the sun through them as we orbit it. Now, because all the other planets orbit very close to the sun, or relatively close to the sun, they are always relatively close to the line that the sun takes. So, again, following it around, you can see Venus, Jupiter, Saturn, Mars and Mercury are all very close to the line of the ecliptics, as is the Moon. And that is always the case. So it's really useful, very helpful for a backyard astronomer to know where to find the ecliptic so that you can be sure that that, um, that, that bright object that you're looking at that can't be explained away as a star definitely is the planet that you're looking for. Now, what follows below this video in a series of screen grabs are the morning and evening views by month of where to find the ecliptic and I hope you find that very useful.